Hey everybody, Luke here from FoamFlippingAcademy.com. Today I wanted to show you guys how I save money shipping on eBay and the exact bubble mailers that I actually use in my business from day to day and also the printer and printing style that I use in my business also. Let's go. <laughs> Hey everybody, so let's jump right into it. So today I'm going to try and help you save some money on eBay and I'm going to show you the exact same bubble mailers that I use, why I use them, and we're going to be talking about the exact printer that I use and where you can get the materials and the supplies to keep it rolling. So what we have on our screen here first is bubble mailers. And you're going to probably notice something a little bit different about these bubble mailers that I have. They're not the standard USPS ones and they're not the plain old white ones or the kind of yellowish ones that you'll find in the stores. I specifically order colored bubble mailers and the reason being is I don't like when my packages get lost. It's all happened to us. It's happened before and after I lost my first package I kind of figured you know when I run out of the current packaging which I bought a lot of white bubble mailers. I mean I probably bought I think the last time I bought bubble mailers I bought around 3,000 of them which is absolutely insane so I had white bubble mailers for a long time. After I ran out with them I switched to this new method and as you can see, there's just a lot of contrast here. So I figure by switching to a dark colored, you know, bubble mailer, having a black bubble mailer and a white label is going to give so much contrast. And ever since I've switched to these, I've had no discrepancies in packages being lost or not scanned in. Of course, having tracking and signature, that all helps with that. But I have seen how people scan the packages in at the postal outlets. Uh, you know, these guys are just working 9 to 5, uh, sometimes, you know, more than 9 to 5, sometimes they're working 12-hour shifts, and I see them, they just scan them in, and boom, they throw them. I mean, these guys are trying to get through these packages fast. So I figure taking this and having a little contrast between, you know, the black bubble mailer and then the actual white label, I figure this creates enough contrast where no matter how busy somebody is, they're going to notice this, and they're going to make sure to scan it in. I also personally actually really just like the look of this. I just think it's so much cleaner just having this dark bubble mailer and then just having that white label. You know, it's kind of bam, it's contrasting, and it's just really professional looking. And I don't really see a lot of people out there that do this, so that's kind of why I'm bringing it up. I think it also is kind of a good experience for the customer. You know, they get their package, it looks neat and professional. But this right here are the exact bubble mailers on the screen that I actually buy. They're 6.5 by 10. They are the extra wide padded bubble mailing envelopes. And the reason why I buy the extra wide ones here, you'll see on the screen there's actually another selection for just 6 by 10. But the 6.5 by 10 ones are actually cheaper for some reason. And then on top of that, the extra wide ones will actually fit video games in them also. So pretty much in all of these, you can fit just about any kind of phone. If I just take uh, a Galaxy S10e here, for example, I'll show you. I mean, if I were to put this in this envelope, this one's sealed. But you can see there's plenty of room there. So you can pretty much fit just about anything in these, any kind of phone. Here's an iPhone 7 Plus here sitting on my desk in the box. Just to kind of show you size comparison, you could also fit this phone here in the box. An iPhone 8 Plus and even a, an iPhone XS Max will fit in this. But unfortunately, if the phones get any bigger with the boxes, probably going to have to start ordering bigger bubble mailers. But that is currently what I do. I order these bubble mailers on eBay in bulk. Uh, you know, I'm at 500 envelopes. So, I mean, I'm into these basically for like 12 to 13 cents a piece, which really isn't anything. It's so much cheaper than buying them at a store. I cannot stress that enough. Do not buy your shipping supplies at you know Walmart or anything like that however there is one thing I am going to show you in this video that I do actually sometimes still buy at Walmart because it's absolutely dirt cheap but that being said bubble mailers and envelopes especially don't buy them at Walmart they're just kind of outrageously expensive now the next thing I'm going to show you is something that's kind of an extra bubble mailer that I ordered these are what I call my standard ones I pretty much ship almost all my phones in these but the next one is a 10.5 by 16. Now these envelopes are probably about like this by this and I'm actually out of them right now so I'm probably going to be ordering some. I don't order a whole lot of these but what they're for is they're for MacBooks or laptops in case basically I get something that is bigger than the typical USPS flat rate um, you know basically mailing card you know the cardboard mailing boxes that USPS lets you have. I ordered these envelopes 
just to have some kind of bubble wrap or if I need to ship something that's kind of an odd shape that won't fit in any of the cardboard boxes these kind of stretch and they're just a lot bigger than the USPS priority mail flat rate envelopes also so 10.5 by 16 you can check those out also these also come in multiple different colors and you know if you don't like black you can always you know check out I mean they've got all kinds of colors they got pink purple blue but I just thought the whole black and white was very clean cut and very business like so clean cut and it was just you know that contrast factor I really feel like that's gonna help as far as actually getting the package scanned in so just gonna go back here so 10.5 by 16 you can order a hundred envelopes at a time if you want and you know really not all that much money but like I said these I recommend keeping on like a hundred basically in stock depending on how many phones you do but it's nice like I said when you get a laptop or something that is just oddly shaped the next thing we're going to talk about is how to actually get free shipping materials. Of course, you do have to use the priority mail service, but it is the legendary, and I call it legendary because I use these all the time, the priority mail padded flat rate envelope. These are like my go-to if I do not have any envelopes in stock or if I just need to cram something into something because these envelopes are 9.5 by 12.5 and, and they are flat rate. So if I've got something that's heavy, I will always ship them in the priority padded flat rate envelope. I mean, you can ship these for around $7 and then you can throw signature on there and you're into this for less than $10. You get tracking and you get signature and obviously you're getting the bubble mailer for free too. So if you have anything that's kind of an odd shape, I always recommend using the padded flat rate envelope. It's a very nice thing. And the other thing is if you're looking at the screen right now, you can actually order these 100% free. All you have to do is go to USPS.com. So you'll see here on the screen, you've got two options. You can click a pack of 10 or a pack of 15. And then what you can do is there's actually a quantity and you can do times six. So if you order a pack of 15 times six, you're basically going to be getting 90 envelopes at one time. So that's actually really nice. You can literally get almost 100 envelopes at one time for free. And what you can also do, just a little pro tip, you can actually make multiple accounts or multiple alias accounts on USPS.com. And if you want to do that five times over, well, you can get 500 envelopes of the padded flat rate envelopes delivered right to your house. It's free shipping and the envelopes are free. So that's a really nice thing that you can do too if you need shipping supplies. The next thing is, should we use a printer or should we use a thermal printer? Uh, you know, let me just kind of touch on this. This is kind of a controversial topic, but basically the thing is, I think every office should still have a standard printer. If I could show you, if I could grab my camera, I do have a printer down here below my desk. However, the main thing that I use is this right here. This is what I call the Dymo label writer for XL. And you want the XL because you don't want your labels printing very small. One of the biggest things is if you print your labels too small, believe it or not, sometimes they won't scan in. And like I said earlier in the video, when these USPS guys are flying through these packages and they're just scanning them and they're throwing them everywhere, you want to make sure that they can scan your label and read it. Worst comes to worst if they have to enter it in manually. If, you're, if your little package is really small and they're having a bad day, I hate to tell you this, but chances are they're not going to scan it in or they might just throw it aside. And that's the worst thing that could happen. So I went with the Dymo Label Writer 4XL just because it prints labels that are 4x6. And as you can see here, I'll just show you again for size comparison. This is what they look like. They print basically almost as big, I think about as big as an actual printer if you're printing them out from your printer, just like a normal sheet of paper. So that's a really big thing. Now, why this is so important is because this will change your eBay or your shipping business forever. Now, on the normal printer, I recommend having it in the office because sometimes the only drawback in my opinion to this is it seems like sometimes the thermal printers will get errors more often than not. It's not really a big deal. It only happens usually when you have to print out like one time I had to ship out over 100 phones in one day. Uh, basically, I had a bunch of phones sell over Saturday and Sunday and then into Monday morning and I'm just like, oh my gosh, there's so many phones. And so we start shipping them out. We get to like 60 phones and then the thing has an error. I've got to restart my computer. Not really that big a deal. But the reason why this thing is game changing is it is overall cheaper than owning a printer as far as rebuying ink. And then on top of that, the actual thermal paper rolls themselves are very cheap. But the biggest thing is the oldest statement in the book 
time is money. And what we actually did is, and I am very fast at this because before I bought this, I have been shipping out all of my phones and electronics with a standard printer. So, you know, I would have to take a scissors and I would have to basically cut it out and then tape it in. And what we actually did is we printed two different items and I used the printer and then I had somebody else use the label writer or the thermal printer. And it took me about one minute. I think it was like one minute or 120 seconds and basically which is basically two minutes i don't think it was 120 seconds i want to say it was like 70 or 80 seconds but it was basically 70 80 seconds to actually cut out the paper and then tape the label on to the envelope so that was quite a big deal just time wise and when you have a hundred packages to do if each package takes you a minute that's almost two hours that's a lot of time now, how this thing is going to change and save your business is with this Dymo Later Label Writer 4XL, we timed it. I used a stopwatch. Basically, once you get to the print label part, literally this thing prints in like three seconds. And once you peel the label off, they have a sticky adhesive on them. You just slap them on the envelope like this. And we timed it, and it's basically anywhere from 15 to 20 seconds for this thing to print you to peel it off, grab it, and then put it on here and then pat it down nice so it sits on there perfectly. So that basically will cut your shipping time or your handling time when you're actually printing out the labels in half. Not to mention, you don't have to buy as much tape anymore either, which tape can be a big expense in this business. So as you can see right here on the screen, it's the Dymo Label Writer 4XL. Like I said, guys, make sure it's the 4XL. That's the one that you want with the thermal label writer printer and make sure you buy a brand new. I don't recommend buying these used just because like I said, sometimes you know you don't know how much they were used for and they can have errors. But if you just do a quick Google search, you can grab the label writer 4XL. Now I recommend buying this on eBay or another place I've seen deals is like Office Max. Sometimes they'll have it where they're like a hundred or two hundred dollars off. I know that sounds crazy, but that's actually where I originally got mine was Office Max. I was just strolling through and I was looking for one and they had it there and it happened to be like it was like $150 off. It was almost better than eBay prices, I think. And obviously then I didn't have to wait for shipping, so I just ended up buying it. Now, one thing I do recommend only buying on eBay is See, if you buy them at Office Max, you're going to be paying for basically name brand or OEM label writer thermal labels. But if you go on eBay, these are the ones that I use and you can get, I think this is uh, 4,400 labels for only $67, which ends up being a lot cheaper than actually buying printing paper for the traditional printer. And then on top of that, once again, you're not paying for ink. So that's a huge thing too. I mean, you gotta consider that. So basically having this thermal label writer in your eBay shipping area is a game changer just because one, it's going to save you time, time is money. And then two, it's actually less expensive. So that is two huge factors that are going to change your business. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is tape. A lot of people seem to just basically splurge and buy tape. And I actually get my tape from Walmart, typically get it in store. Hopefully I can find this for you online because sometimes it doesn't show up on walmart.com for some reason but it's actually called duck brand tape uh, here it is right here they're extremely cheap so right here we have a six pack it's 892 which comes out to like a dollar 49 each and this is the tape that I use on all of my shipping stuff it's not the highest quality tape but it does a good job and it's dirt cheap so basically my whole entire online shipping business has no overhead when it comes to actually shipping stuff because most of my shipping supply cost, if I do end up charging shipping on some items, it's actually completely covered just because when it comes to envelope tape and then the actual label printer label, I'm probably into shipping supplies each item, maybe like a dollar. One thing that I don't recommend is never impulsively go and buy stuff at like Walmart or, you know, just a depot store where you run out of something. Always try and keep your inventory levels attended to you need to keep track of what you have in stock how much you have you know if you go and look at your tape rolls and you've only got one left or you got two left well it's probably good to preemptively just go and order more because you never want to run out especially if you get hit with a rush i know when i sold over 100 phones 
I almost ran out of packages at that time, and I was really scared. I was like, oh no, if I run out of packages, this is gonna lose me a lot of profit. It's gonna cost me a lot of money because I'm gonna have to go and buy all of these at a retail store, and I'm not gonna be saving any kind of money. But anyways, Duck Brand packaging tape, this is what I use. It's clear, like I said, it's $1.49 each per roll, which is crazy, and you get 55 yards of it. Now, in the actual Walmart stores, I was able to buy an eight pack of this and it went down to a dollar each. So I haven't bought tape in a while, but it's perhaps that maybe they actually raised the price just because I haven't bought tape in a while because I buy everything in bulk. But I ended up getting them for a dollar a piece and tape for a dollar each is extremely cheap. I don't ever buy the priority mail tape or the scotch tape just because it's like three to five dollars per roll and I just think that's too expensive you know we're not shipping anything real heavy in this business so it's not like we need the hate the tape to be extremely strong but this tape is strong enough and the nice thing is it's extremely cheap so if you do need to go tape happy and tape something ten times over that's totally fine and I actually have a roll sitting right here so I thought I would show you all that but it pretty much goes out like that I mean it it rips tapes just like anything else it's just in my opinion it's a little bit cheaper because there's usually like these little bubbles in it but it's it's strong tape I mean I'm you know trying to rip this right now and obviously unless I was tearing it from up and down this is not gonna break or anything and it's just extremely cheap tape now a couple people out there this is kind of uh, another controversial topic uh, people want to ask about uh, bubble wrap should we buy bubble wrap absolutely not so bubble wrap biggest expense in the shipping industry and unless you're shipping TVs or anything there's no reason for bubble wrap what you should be doing is you should take your envelopes that you're getting for dirt cheap you're getting them for like 13 cents a piece just take them and double wrap your phone if you've got a phone what you do take it like this roll it over in the bubble wrap a few times and then take it as you can see right there this is this would be the same thing as buying bubble wrap but it's actually cheaper just based on the price that we get and then just take this, put it in another envelope, and ship it out and put your label on it. So no reason to buy bubble wrap. Another thing is there's a lot of household items that you can actually use for packaging materials. One, if you drink bottled water like me, every time I get done with a bottle of water, I have a box under my desk that I actually just throw all of them under. And I make sure there's no water in them off, obviously, and I make sure that they're sealed. But if you use empty water bottles and you stuff them in packages, like especially when you're shipping out bigger stuff, the nice thing about a water bottle is if you blow them up or push air into them, it's really, really, really hard for it to be crushed. So what I'll do is I'll take two water bottles, one here, one here, and then I put the phone in the middle, and the phone is obviously in bubble wrap also. But because the water bottle can't be crushed, Whenever something hits the water bottle, the phone is in the middle of it and it's kind of like a protective barrier. And I haven't had any phones in years come back saying that they're cracked or they're broken or that there's something wrong with them. So keep in mind, always be resourceful. Uh, old news books, uh, you can get those too. I mean, they're, they're dirt cheap or a lot of people just throw them out like the, basically, you know, the the um, address books that they will, news books or address books, whatever you want to call them here, a lot of people call them news books just because a lot of people are posting new businesses in them, their addresses, their phone numbers, so we call them news books. But address books, yellow page books, whatever you want to call them, newspapers, that's another thing you can get, but I, I really like the whole idea of the uh, address books. Uh, other people call them phone books, obviously that's probably the broader term of it, but a lot of people around here call them news books. But the point is, anything like that, news books, phone books, address books, uh, yellow books. We have yellow books around here. I'm not sure if everybody else has those, but it just depends on where you're from. But anything that's kind of given out free or dropped off, um, magazines that are sent to your house, anything that you can keep that could be used or crumpled up and made into packaging material, I recommend that you keep so you don't have to buy rolls and rolls and rolls of bubble wrap because bubble wrap is actually very expensive. I used to do that when I was first starting out in this business, but naturally, I am always trying to perfect my business and I'm always trying to find the best best and most efficient way to operate. So bubble wrap actually when it came down to it was one of my biggest expenses and so I looked for ways to eliminate that and that's kind of how I did it. So anyways everybody I hope this video brought you some value. I hope it saves you some money on shipping and I hope it answers some questions out there if you were kind of pondering stuff. So that being said make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.